Hi, it's Mike here from Bug Bully Pest Control. Today I have three common do-it-yourself pest control mistakes. The first one I'm going to start with is a do-it-yourself bed bug mistake. This is one of the biggest ones I see. At least probably once a week I see this happening. And what people do is they try to treat bed bugs themselves by getting dust. Most oftentimes it's diatomaceous earth. And as you can see from these pictures, the job I did the other day, they took the diatomaceous earth and dumped it pretty much on the edges of the hallway and then dumped it all over the bed, all over the couch. This is a couch cushion right here. So this is one of the worst things you can do because it's never going to work. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to make the situation worse than it is. So you don't want to take dust and just dump it all over the place. Bed bugs, they're not going to go near this. They're going to avoid it. That much dust is never going to work. So the saying is light, not white. You want to have dust that's very fine that you can't see. That's the that's how you want to do it. It should be in a nice little line and almost invisible, just a tiny bit. And that's the way that that'll work. And a lot of times dusting alone might not be enough to get rid of bed bugs. That's why anyone that has bed bugs, I always recommend just have someone come do it, call someone. Don't try to do it yourself because a lot of times it just makes it that much worse. Um, if you're going to try to do it yourself, I would just say try to vacuum. So you vacuum and then wash and dry your clothes and all your bedding material. So wash and dry your bedding material and then search your, um, your bed frame and just vacuum up the bugs. Try to get a HEPA vac or something with a filter. Try to vacuum as many bed bugs and as many eggs as possible and then throw the filter away. That's really the best thing you can do if you try and do it yourself. Other things, over the counter products, just make it worse. I've seen cases where people try to treat themselves and it only scatters the bed bugs, drives them up into the ceiling, into the outlets into places that they normally don't hide and then it makes it more difficult to get rid of them. Next one is, this is supposed to be DIY, but I put DIT, mouse removal mistakes, setting traps wrong. I see this all the time. Uh, I had a job the other day where same trap as this, but how they had it set was, I think they put it through this little hole here, which made that metal piece go straight up in the air and the trap isn't set right. Another thing people do, they put traps, uh, they put traps, oops, I don't want that back. Uh, they put traps out in the open. So as you see here, they're not against, an, they're not at an angle, they're not against the wall. So ideally, in this case, this is a rat bar. You want to have the traps here where rats are going to travel at angles because rodents travel along angles up, up against things, up against the wall. If you have it out here, the rat's coming right out of this hole and he's just running, trying to find cover. He doesn't want to be out in the open feeding where he could be potential target for predators. So he's going to come out of the hole and just run, try to find somewhere hard. He's not going to come out of here and just look for food. So, you know, so in this case, these traps aren't going to work. And what you want to do instead is set all the traps up against the wall. So see how this is right against the wall. So traps and glue boards shouldn't be out in the open. They should be up against the wall where the mice are going to travel. So same thing, glue boards flush against the wall. And the way you set this is take this metal piece and put it under here. So I see a lot of people stick it in this, or put the, the metal piece, they put it right in this hole here. So you don't want to do that. It's going to make the trap go completely up and down, vertical. If you put it in here, it's going to go up. So that's not going to work. So put it under here, a little peanut butter on that, and it should be all set, put it up against the wall. All right, next one. Had this job the other day, do it yourself wasp removal. You never want to seal off entry holes with foam because then you can't treat it. It's, more, it's much more difficult. If you seal off the hole, the wasps are going to be trapped inside. Now you can't treat their entry point. So never seal hole, the hole with the foam. And what you want to do, instead you have a duster and you dust the nest. So I had a job, uh, couple, or actually it was last year, where there was a guy that had a huge nest in his wall. And they tried to come up to the outside and seal the hole. But now all the wasps were trapped inside. And, and they were coming out into his kitchen through the ceiling fan. So every morning he'd wake up, he'd have maybe like 10 wasps flying all around his kitchen. And this went on for probably about two months because it was just impossible to treat because there was no access. He couldn't really drill a hole in the ceiling and treat the nest. There was no, there wasn't really a good access point. The only access point was a hole and they had sealed that. So now the wasps were coming inside and this went on for a while and it was a big pain. So we never want to seal the wasp nest. And back up here for a second to the duster. The way you apply the dust in a very fine way without over dusting, 
is using one of these dusters here, the hand duster. This does take skill to use. It's, you can't just put the product in there and just shoot it out or it will come out too heavy. It takes skill to use and practice. So it's another reason why it's very difficult to treat on your own, treat bed bugs on your own. Then it's very difficult. So I would say instead of using dust, trying to avoid situations like that and making it worse, just call someone to help you do it. And the last one is a bonus do it yourself roast treatment mistake. Same as we were talking about with bed bugs, over dusting, in this case boric acid. Um, Overdusting boric acid, light, not white again. This will never work anyway because roaches aren't going to be on the floor. Roaches are going to be where there's moisture and where there's heat. So behind the refrigerators, under the sinks, places like that, they're not going to just be randomly on the floor. And you only need a little bit of dust and use that hand duster again for bed bugs, wasps, and roaches. But it does take skill. It's not as easy as just puffing out the dust. So again, you want to. Um, if it's at a case where it's bad enough, you have to just call someone to help you help you do it because applying too much dust is going to make a mess like this and it's not going to be effective. So those are my tips for today. Bed bugs, don't don't uh, do it yourself with this dust thing. I see it a lot. Avoid that. Uh, mouse traps, make sure they're up against the wall where the rats travel and make sure you set them right. Wasps, don't seal the wasp hole. Have it treated, and then after you have it treated, you can potentially seal the hole if you want, and don't overdust with the roaches. So those are my some of the common do-it-yourself pest control mistake, uh, mistakes I see when I'm out working. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. It's Mike from Bug Bully Pest Control, and I'll talk to you soon.